9 and 0 at home, perfect in whack play. That was the story of the CSUB women runners basketball team coming into Saturday's game against the winless Yes, 0-18 Chicago State Cougars. Unfortunately for CSUB, this game did not play out as well as they thought. We're going to take you and pick things up in the fourth quarter. CSUB led by six, and that's when the Cougars began to make their run. Bucket by bucket and turnover by turnover. It seemed like if anything could go the Roadrunners way, it sprinted in the opposite direction. They gave the ball away 22 times and had 19 fouls. Under two, that's Mataboyx. She gives the Cougars a two point lead. After that, it's a costly charge that gives CSU the ball back, it gives them life, and it gives them a chance to tie. Pursuing drive, Miracle Saxon up and in, and we are tied at 58 with 37 seconds to play. Now, Chicago State for the lead. The shot is bricked and rebounded by the runners. So we're going back and forth here. They call a timeout. They're going to call up a play and here's what they chalk up. A three by Austin Ashley doesn't connect. The putback is stuffed and Chicago State quickly calls a timeout. 1.1 ticks to go. The ball is tossed up to Taisha Bowers. Puts it up and is fouled. Oh no. She heads to the line, just 0.4 seconds to play, sinks both free throws. The Cougars absolutely shock the runners at the Icardo Center, 60 to 58. That was the final shot, didn't even get it off in time. Head coach Greg McCall didn't make any excuses for his team after the game. They played with a lot of energy, um, and we did. Um, they played with a lot of passion and poise, and uh, we did. Uh, we took them for granted, um, but they came out ready to go, focused, um, and we weren't. Uh, we didn't give our fans something exciting to see uh, today, and so Chicago State got us. <laughs> our name probably going to be scrolling at the bottom of the ESPN thing down there for the team that uh, got beat by Chicago State, but we knew that coming in that they were that type of a team.